Hi Peaceful Dumpling Yogis! It's Paige and I'm back with another video for the month of August. So this video is actually based off of one of my favorite Beatles songs, Here Comes the Sun. Being as hot and sunny as it is, at least here in Southern California, um, we could do a flow based on that. So this will be more of a vinyasa type flow. Um, so we'll begin sitting on our mats. So find your way down to your mat, or even if you don't have a mat, you can find a space on your floor. We'll sit into Kasana pose, so one leg in front of the other, hips grounded into the ground. <laughs> and just take a moment to check in with yourself. You can close your eyes, rest your palms over your knees, wherever you're at in your day right now, whatever's been happening, just find this moment to check in with yourself taking nice slow deep breaths inhaling and exhaling out through the nose just noticing how that feels even to just sit with your eyes closed taking a big breath in so we're going to take our palms and place them over our heart chakra this is the anjali mudra you can keep your eyes closed and I'm going to repeat a couple affirmations to begin our class. And you can repeat them out loud to yourself or in your head if you'd like. So I'll repeat them two times. I radiate positivity. I radiate positivity. I'm full of energy and enthusiasm. I'm full of energy and enthusiasm. I'm worthy of shining brightly. I am worthy of shining brightly. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. And let's just take a deep inhale through our nose and let it out your mouth with a big sigh. <sighs> nice cleansing breath. You can open your eyes and let go of the mudra. And we're going to begin today with a couple stretches, especially working on our shoulders, and then go into a sun salutation type flow. So first, to open up our shoulders, we're going to take both of our hands, place them on our shoulders, and start making circles with our elbows just in the space right beside us. Maybe imagine the circles, whatever shape you wanna, or what, however big you wanna draw them, or small. Imagine them moving with your breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Let's go the opposite way. Just making nice, gentle circles. Inhaling and exhaling. And then let go of the hold of your hands on your shoulders. This time, let's take both of our hands, place them behind our back, and clasp our hands together. So when your hands are clasped, you're gonna to wanna to roll your shoulders up and down to open up your chest. So just hold like that for a bit, feeling that stretch in your shoulders. My hands are clasped, my arms are straight, and I'm rolling my shoulders back, lifting my hands away from the ground to really open up my chest here. And just breathe here, noticing how that feels. One more round of breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And slowly come out of that, letting your hands come back up. This time, let's take our hands 
and clasp them on opposite elbows, extending our arms above our heads. So remember to keep your shoulders down here. We don't want our shoulders up towards our ears. Hands on opposite elbows. So lifting up here, our spine is still straight. We're gonna inhale to lift up even more. Now as we exhale, we're just going to come over to the left to feel that nice side body stretch through our right rib cage now. Breathing here, making sure to keep yourself lifted, chest is open. Take a few rounds of breath here, holding on to opposite elbows. Nice deep inhale. Nice long exhale. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna lift up again, back to center, and then go over to the other side now. So, stretching over to the right. Opening up now through our left rib cage. Breathing here, making sure to stay lifted. Both hip bones are still planted into the ground. Breathing here. Noticing how it feels on different sides. Just observing sensations, feelings, maybe even emotions. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, let your hands float back to the ground. One more shoulder stretch here. I'm gonna take our hands, place them behind us. We don't have to straighten our arms, but place your hands behind you, clasp your hands, and then bring your both hands over to your right hip. So, as you can see, my right elbow is out to the side. I'm gonna start gently pulling that behind. So I'm bringing that elbow and putting it behind me so it faces towards the back. As you do that, you're gonna open up through your right shoulder. So only go as far as it feels good, and just stay here, noticing how that feels. If you want a deeper stretch here too, you can also bring your left ear over to your left shoulder, and that opens up the space even more in your neck and shoulder. Breathing deeply, staying mindful. One more inhale. Long exhale. And then on the next inhale, slowly lift your chin and head back up. We're gonna bring those clasped palms over to the other side now, over towards the left hip. Left elbow is out pointing towards my side and I'm just gonna bring that behind. So I'm bringing that elbow to face behind me, and then it opens up the left shoulder. You can stay here if you want, just observing that sensation. Or take your right ear, place it over towards your right shoulder, and breathe deeply, enjoying that stretch. Just take two more rounds of breath here. And then as you inhale, we're gonna lift back up and let that elbow come back to the side and let go of that. Maybe just wiggle out your wrist here, whatever feels good for you. And then we're gonna make our way up to hands and knees. So find your way to tabletop. Make sure your fingers are out wide, your wrists are below your shoulders and knees below hips. So from here, we're just going to tuck our toes and come into our first downward dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips up, and bring your chest as close to your thighs as you can. Your heels don't have to touch the mat. But since they're first downward dog, we're just going to pedal out those legs, really stretching into the calves here, and hamstrings. Breathing as we do this, making sure we can nod and shake our head so we're not holding any extra tension. You can always bring your feet wider than hip width distance apart if you want to deepen the stretch or if you have really tight calves. 
So from come here, from here we're gonna come into high plank. So inhaling, bring your chest parallel to the mat, wrists are right below shoulders, breathing here. Really think about tucking your belly button and pulling it into your spine. Then exhale, lower your feet. Sorry, lower your knees. And then just keep your toes tucked so we can sit back on our feet now. And a little toe stretch. And then we're going to do a couple half sun salutations just with our arms. So inhaling, lifting up. Arms come up overhead, gaze is up, fingertips touch, exhaling, drawing the hands back down to heart center. We're going to do that two more times. Just the arm motion. Inhaling, lifting up, really rotate your shoulders open. Exhale, draw those hands back down to heart center. One more time. Inhaling, opening up the shoulders, lifting up, gaze comes up. And exhaling, dropping those hands back down to heart center. Beautiful. Now let's come back to our tabletop and then come back into our downward dog. We won't be here for too long. From downward dog, we're just going to start crisscrossing our feet to come to the top of the mat in between our hands here. And just come into a round dog fold, letting your head hang, maybe swaying from side to side. You can keep a bend in the knees. Make sure there's equal pressure in both parts or all parts of the feet in both feet. Breathing here. And now plant the feet and think of having really strong rounded feet here. The roots are growing down through the soles, planting into the earth. We're gonna come up, so strong legs. Inhale, come all the way up, straightening the legs. Arms come all the way up, fingertips touch. Exhale, and dropping your hands back down to heart center. And you can just drop your palms so they're shining forward. Hands come to the side. This is called mountain pose. So for mountain pose, we're going to begin a uh, sign salutation type sequence. So to begin, we're going to inhale, lift our arms all the way up as if we're greeting the sun. Exhale, swan dive. So leading with your heart, now come all the way down to the ground, forward fold, dropping your head, letting your head hang. Inhale, halfway lift, come to a flat back, um, fingertips to mat or hands on shins. And then exhale, come all the way down, folding down, planting the hands, stepping back with just the left leg here. We're going to come into a high lunge. So you can either keep the back leg lifted or if you really need to, you can always bring the knee down. So using core strength coming up. Hands reaching up, arms lifting yourself up here for our high lunge. Breathing here. Really feel grounded and rooted, seeing those hips down, making sure your knee is over that right ankle. And if you want an extra challenge here, you can open up to the right. So opening up your arms to the right. Inhaling to come back up, let's step two more times. Exhale, opening up our arms, turning to the right, a little twist. Inhaling, come back up to center. One more time, exhaling, opening up. Inhaling, coming up to center, beautiful. Let's bring our hands back down with our hips and slowly come all the way up to back, back to standing. So we're gonna do the other side now, but we're just gonna make it easier. So taking our right foot, placing it behind us, but not dropping the heel down. We're coming into high lunge on the left side now. So sinking those hips, squaring them, making sure they're facing the front. Bend into that left knee now, and then inhale to lift up your arms, just like that. Breathing deeply, you've got this. Imagine as if you're doing this yoga flow out in the sun. If you are, that's great. If not, think about the sun providing you with energy, and strength, not only for this yoga flow, this short yoga flow, but for your day as well. So we're gonna do our side stretches. So inhaling to lift up, and then exhaling to carefully open up to the left. Inhaling, lift up again, arms come up. Exhaling, opening up, maybe sinking a little bit deeper. 
Inhaling, coming back up, one more time. And exhaling, opening up to the left. Really think about rotating that shoulder, the left shoulder, open it back. Inhaling up, good job. Exhale, just bring your hands to your hips and slowly lift that back leg back up to the top of your mat, back into mountain pose. So you can bring your hands back out, shine, palms shining forward. We're just going to do another sun salutation flow to come back to the mat. So think about your roots growing down into the mat, grounding you in this pose. And inhale, lift our arms up all the way to the sky, really reaching for that sky. Exhale, swan dive fold. Come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, gaze is down at the mat. And then exhale, plant those hands, step back both with the left and the right foot to come into a high plank. And from here, we're just going to drop our knees and come into a child's pose. So open up your knees as wide as the mat. Toes touching, toes flat on the mat. And slowly lower down, chest, forehead to the mat for a child's pose. Take a few breaths here in child's pose just to calm down and relax as we wind down and end our practice. Notice how your body feels, any new sensations, maybe an overall sense of peace. Just take note. And then on your next inhale, I'm going to slowly lift on up. Coming back to tabletop, swing both legs to one side so we can sit back down on our bottom and come into easy sukhasana or easy seated pose. This time, put the opposite leg in front so it's a little different for your hips. And we'll just end our practice here. <sighs> Tuning back into our breath, back into our body feeling how great it feels to move our body and warm up all of the muscles and joints and ligaments in our body. And just send gratitude to yourself and to your amazing body for doing everything that you need it to do and keeping you alive and for nourishing you and give grat gratitude towards the sun for shining on us, providing warmth, energy, food to plants so that we can also nourish our body through the plant that we eat. So thank you for joining me for this flow for the month of August. Have a beautiful rest of your day and month. Namaste. Thank you. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.